if you understand that hey i have 24 hours i can use these 24 hours to do to do useless things or i can do i can use my 24 hours to to add value yo what's up my inspired alphas welcome back to another video today i am telling you how to be a superior man make sure you like make sure you subscribe let's jump into it step number one be selfish with your attention guys the difference between a superior man and a weak man is the fact that you understand the value of your attention because as i say attention runs the world attention is the currency of the world now if you are the guy who people pay attention to because you you are self, you are selfish with your attention people will treat you differently because that is where the value is if you are the guy who is selfish with with your attention people are going to pay more close attention to you because they know the value because you don't waste your time that is the point guys understand that the most limited resource in the world is time and time is attention so if you understand that hey i have 24 hours i can use these 24 hours to do to do useless things or i can do i can use my 24 hours to to add value so anyone who gets your time you are adding value how are they going to treat dif to treat you the same so be selfish with your time focus more time and energy on yourself on adding value on the guy that you are and everything else will fall into place that is how superior men are made number two don't show your emotions now don't confuse me by saying you don't have emotions you have emotions but you don't show them you 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 let your emotions be internal if you are if you feel fear feel it to the core but don't show it if you are excited be excited but don't show it and let people guess always let people always let people be guessing what you might be feeling be unpredictable that is how superior men are you never know what is going on inside their mind because they have mastered their emotions they know how to respond to their emotions it doesn't mean they don't have emotions they have emotions all the time it's just choosing how to react to it because it's a choice now 80 percent of people out here are are on autopilot if they feel sad they are crying if they feel happy they are you know excited on their faces and in their body but when you are cool calm and collected you will still feel those emotions in fact you will feel them so intensely but you don't really have to show them because it is you it's your life you can do whatever it is you want but just know that superior men do not show their emotions because once you keep people guessing you you know they they, they treat you differently because they never know what to expect you are not easily impressed that is the word i'm looking for you are not easily impressed when you show your emotions you you might by impressed it might be you are impressed by a car or it might not impress you but you show it but when you are cool calm and collected whoever is trying to impress you now they will have to work harder 
in order to get that approval from you. Number three, do not be afraid to show off. Now, I'm not saying that you need to tell people how rich you are or, you know, the things that you have. But if you have them, don't be afraid to show them. If you, well, this is like, say, let's talk about your fashion. If you like expensive watches, do it. Don't be afraid that people are going to talk about you. Let them talk about you. Be classy. Don't be afraid to show off what you have. Don't talk about it, but you can show it. If you love a Lambo, drive it. If you love living in nice mansions, live there. Because it's yours. It's yours. You have earned it. So why would you be afraid of being you in the name of you'll be showing off? If people want what you have, let them work. Let them put in the effort. But you've already paid the price. If you already paid the price, why be afraid? You will die and you will not have enjoyed your value, the value that you have. Because every single day you are putting in the effort to become a superior man. By superior, I don't mean you are better than other men, but in fact, you are better. You are better than other men. This is what I've said, you are better than other men because you have gone the extra mile to improve yourself. You are better than average people. So show off. Last but not the least, own your world. By saying own your world, I mean be the king, act like a king. Because it is your world. Walk with your head high. Chest out. Take take space. You know, be that. Be. I don't know if you've ever seen a guy who owns his world. He knows that no one can come and dethrone me in my world. Because I'm the only one who understands it. So, if, if you're living a unique life, then be unique. Be, you, be the king. Be the king of that world. Walk like you own everything, like everything is yours, guys. And not just everywhere, even in your home, when you are alone or in public, it doesn't matter. This is who you are. You, you, you own your world in everything that you do. Anyway, those are the four ways that you can become a superior man. Hopefully you got value from today's video. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace out.